Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Have you heard about Midjourney and it's been starting using in a lot of the industry for inspiration and sometimes to creating very outstanding image. This is actually a good tool to use for the jewelry design. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today's tutorial, we are not going to talk about uh, the jewelry model, but I would like to talk about the inspiration tool and that's getting really popular. It's called Midjourney. The Midjourney website looked like that. The first time I opened it, it felt like am I getting the virus or something, <laughs> but actually it's not. If you go to the getting start, then you're going to see the instruction for you uh, to follow up to how to generate the image. But what is Midjourney and what it can do? As you can see, I have a lot of image right here. A lot of them may not able to be made. The way to construct the gemstone together, the way to hold the gemstone, it doesn't 100% realistic. However, some of them, it look like it's really feasible uh, with the, some of the image like that. And basically what Midjourney did is, uh, is this is a website that is using the AI technology to help to generate some image and you can get an image by typing the text and I'm going to show you later but we I want to talk about how can this help for jewelry design a lot of time when we are doing the design it's hard to starting everything from scratch that our human brain probably it's harder to generate it in some of the design and then the journey kind of giving some sort of the for me it is a tool for me to get inspiration and I would like to share with you on some of those images and see maybe that can help you on your jewelry design too if you ran out of an idea Although certain things may not seems not working, but if you tweak a little bit, maybe that will be a great piece. Something about the journey too, if you look at this uh, website called Prompt Hero, and this is what other people's done. At first, you're going to see the image is really stunning. Um, but if you look at detail, this is actually no stone look like this, unless you are doing the enameling and things having the color inside of a ring shen is not realistic. So at first they look right, but when you look closer, it may not be right. It is just an image. However, they look realistic, look fancy. Um, like this one look like has a six finger. This one finger is in the really weird position right here. So I won't say we're gonna use the image right away, but the way it constructing certain things together might give us a really great inspiration. So how does this actually work? First of all, you need to join uh, the Discord. If you never join the Discord and I'm new to the Discord too, um, you're going to find out the mid journey uh, server and then you can join it. Once you join it, it has a welcome instruction. The, for the first time to use it, I will suggest you to read it and go through it. It's really quickly to know how to actually use it. You have to generate an image in the Discord here. So let's take a look on this. Uh, you have some newcomer room and you got 29, 59, 89 here. We got three room here. You can go in any of the room that will be fine. And you're going to see it's already a lot of uh, image other people generated. So first things that we wanted to do, uh, we have few components to understand. In order to have an image, you need to type in certain text. Let's give it a try to generate an image. On the bottom here, you need to type it slash uh, slash image or to pick up the first one for prompt and when you click on it you can type it anything so I'm just gonna try something really simple let's try engagement ring big stone art nouveau style and let's see what it come up and it might take a few seconds to generate it depends on how um, complicated your text is my text is not too complicated but it should come up really quick all right so you can see because there's a lot of people to using it and then it's going to like uh, uh, push the information really quick so this is what i come up with ideally you can see a lot of them it's like too intricate and maybe the gemstone is not able to set but it get a pretty good idea for what that is what we can do is using those pattern and to um, 
think about how we can uh, modify from them. But so this will be a great inspiration. Let's give it a try on other things to getting a little bit more complicated. I'm going to use a slash image and for the prompt here, I'm going to give it a try for engagement ring, a lot of gemstone, animal sculpture, uninvolved, lalique style, and let's see what they come up. And again, maybe uh, the more text that you have, you might need to wait a little bit longer, but it wasn't too bad for the first one. So let's see what it come up for the next one. This image that has some sculptural element for the animal and that part is actually pretty well. I mean, again, the small stone, it doesn't look like realistic the way if we, like the way we will set the stone even like this one the stone is tilted and but that's okay i mean it has a lot of uh, good reference i still like the way the squirrel work on those the animal choice is not the best and maybe i be, should be specific what type of animal to to do on it this guy right here on the top um i have no idea what that purplish things there uh, this type of the stone right here, don't know how to set it, but it's beautiful. It's more like a dreamy, that kind of a ring, really statement ring. Uh, certain part of it still very good element to choose from, to take from. So let's give it another try. This time I want to do even longer uh, prompt. So that's using slash image. And let's try something. I want to try like find jewelry instead of just engagement ring and see what will come up with. So find jewelry, engagement ring, a lot of gemstone, low relief, animal sculpture, alivo, uh, lalic style, royal jewelry, uh, intricate detail. I, I want to see how intricate it will get. So let's uh, give it a try. Here's our new image right here. So they all take relatively uh, quick. As you can see, this one, I have a lot of like burr. Or oh, this is actually, uh, the deer right there is quite interesting. However, the lake, the way to place a lake, it doesn't look correct. Um, look like some weird animal. Um, but right here, this like a wing style on the side, it's great. Uh, to take it as a reference, um, like this wing type of a thing, this bird. Don't know what type of a bird. And that's the beauty of a mid journey is uh, a lot of time when the AI is trying to combine the image, it may not be something that you can actually find in the real life, but taking the part for inspiration will be great. Again, the stone, it's never exist, um, but the way to intricate it and um, to intertwine, it's quite interested uh, to me. Uh, this part right here, it's actually really close to uh, like a certain part of a scroll work in the hand engraving. Maybe I should include in the hand engraving there. But however, the Mid Journey um, allow the free user to generate it up to 25 image. The quad uh, is considered one image. And once you have passed that 25, you will need to buy the um, annual fee for it. If you're gonna use it, like what I do is use for inspiration. Sometimes we really run out of the idea. Maybe those will help you. It's been using in all the industry architect. I see a lot uh, graphic design of of course, it's using a lot. And then, so those were helping us to generate some idea. I want to try the variation on those. So I'm going to try V1 and let's see if it come up something. And based on this image and it generated more. So if you like certain type of image, you can base on that and to create a lot more variation on it. I believe one day the AI might be able to generate the image into the 3D model directly. It's always nice to know what happened in the industry and how do we use all kind of a tool to help us to do the jewelry design. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Let me know what you think about my journey. Have you tried it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.